Um, I've always found painting to be the most interesting, the most kind of impressive, but I've never been able to do it. I've tried, I've tried over the years, but nothing's really cool. But I just can't seem to find that kind of composition. It's sometimes I spend most of my time in practicing. Um, I've always really wanted to be able to do it. I've always found it just insane the way someone can capture someone in the medium of pain. Um, I've always found myself a bit limited in my own mind because I never studied it at school and I took it in A level and I took it in GCSE. Um, and now it's to be a hobby for me. But with this last year, I got a piece of work shown in Amsterdam in the gallery, which is a pretty big improvement for me um, to go from sketching in the back of my school books to actually getting some uh, have a couple of commissions too, which is always a good thing. But potentially in the future, hopefully, something might materialise that would allow me to do that. Hopefully. Um, I wouldn't say that I necessarily always do. I think that if you go back through several sketchbooks, you'll find drawings that I think I've overdone and ruined and spoiled just by not knowing my limit and not knowing when to stop. So I think a lot of that comes from people outside of it, like I often ask friends or family for advice on or what they think of the drawing as of yet and whether they think I should carry on because I think sometimes you just need that that outside position to have the work fairly analysed and see whether it should be added to or just left as it is because I think that is the or my most common downfall is not knowing where to stop. Um, so I think most of the time it just comes down to getting an outside perspective, someone else to look at it and tell you what they think, how far they think you should go with it, because inevitably you will always want to improve, you'll always want to try and add that little bit extra to try and get that extra detail in. Um, I'd say go for it. Um, but always try and make it your own style, not just out of fairness to the other artists, but you should always try and find your own style, what you enjoy, what you're passionate about, what you think looks good, whether or not it's done or not, it's ultimately for you, it's your own benefit, and the aesthetic element of it is always part of yourself, so it should reflect that. Um, but yeah, just make sure you always put yourself into your art, don't just, there's nothing to serve by imitating other art, or imitating other people's work, you should always try and put as much of yourself into your work because it'll inevitably have a good effect, it will always have a positive outcome, it will have a unique element, something that no one else has quite captured because they're not you. So always stick true to what you like and then just do whatever you think looks good. It comes on in leaps and bounds. Um, some days I can pick up a pencil and draw exactly what I want, some days I can pick up a pencil and it'll take me five hours to get something done doesn't make me want to throw it in the bin. Um, but if I look back at what I was doing even six months to a year ago, it's amazing how much of a difference a bit of time and a bit of practice can make. So hopefully with several more years it will become better and better. But as for now I'd say there's still a long way to go and there's still a lot to do to improve my work. Uh, I think for being a smaller city it gives you more of an opportunity to kind of show your work and to get yourself out of there as opposed to a bigger city where you might find yourself struggling against bigger artists and bigger names. Um, as a place it can be quite inspiring, it's got a lot of good people, people that will help you with your work. I found a lot of my friends, a lot of my family. Not to say it's Derby, but the people in it do encourage you. They kind of motivate you, they tell you what they like, what they don't like, what they think you should go with. And yeah, I'd say it does, it expands your desire to do more, but I don't know, it can be taken either way. Really.